Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite, <clears throat> and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold, this time with morning commentary. So if my voice sounds funnier than usual, uh, I need to go somewhere in the afternoon, and I kind of want to finish this game off before I do that, so I'm doing this in the morning, earlier than I normally would. Moltres! Your time has come. Which makes it sound not great. Okay, I'm gonna think about a way to reword that. You are level 50, it seems, and I'm going to be, uh, I'm gonna be level 62. I bumped my entire party up to level 62 using all the rare candies that I had. Um, I am, I am not gonna hit you with a super effective discharge, thank you very much. Um, I think I could have come here earlier. I don't know exactly when Mount Silver opens up to the player. Okay, that's a little awkward because I can't you with another one of those. I guess I can hit you with Ice Punch and hope for a freeze for a couple turns. Maybe. Oh no, you just use Safeguard, so that won't even work. I don't like you. Fortunately, I saved just outside. Okay, so this time I'm just going to be using Ice Punch instead of, uh, instead of trying to do anything fancy with Rock Climb. I thought Rock Climb was stronger than that. I thought Ice Punch would have done less damage considering it's not very effective. Um, I am not going to do anything that can hit you, because if I do that, you will die, and I will have to reset again. Um, what hold item am I holding? I'm holding a King's Rock. Okay, not the most amazing hold item ever, but it's a hold item nonetheless. Alright, time for, uh, your daily dose of, of like, Pokemon-related masochism. Um, I'm, I'm going to be using Pokeballs instead of Ultra Balls, as usual, because I don't know, that's just... I, I do that. Um, it's, it's a thing I do. For reasons that I don't know, other than that, I've always done that. Which, as, a, as I'm sure we can all think of many examples of that working out in one's favor. Um, but I'm gonna do it nonetheless, and I'm gonna sit here, and this is gonna take either, like, three Pokeballs or 300 Pokeballs. And I don't know which. I would, uh, I would appreciate it if it's not 300, though, because like I said... Rainbow Boost! Like I said, I've, uh, I've gotta go somewhere in the afternoon. Okay, so if you can knock out a Rainbow Boost, that would, uh, that would actually help quite a bit. Okay, I have 200 Pokeballs, so this had better take less than that. And in fact, it has to, because at some point you will, uh... You will uh, run out of power points. Uh, what do you have? You have Safeguard, Ancient Power. Safeguard has... I forget how many power points Safeguard has. Um, it's either... It's like 20 to 30. Ancient Power has 5, I know that. What are your other moves? I think Flamethrower is one, which is 15. Which is another 20. So we're up to 40 to 50, plus one more move. Which I think might be Air Slash, which I think might be 10. Not sure. Oh, come on! That's not what. That's not how this is supposed to work, Moltres. When I use Ancient Power, I never get two Rainbow Boosts in a row. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and think of some ways to make this entertaining for at least a couple of Pokeballs. Air Slash, okay, uh, that's what I said, right? I think that's 10. So you have 50 to 60 power points before you, uh, before you are reduced to struggle. And I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna bring in Lyra, because Lyra probably fares best against all of those, uh, attacking moves. Uh, resisting, resisting, uh, rock, fire, and, and flying. Um... Oops, you saw the new move that I added for the, the final battle of the game, which I will be talking about at a later date. Liver also has the leftovers, <clears throat> and the most HP out of everybody in my party, so... Um, that, should be a, that should be a good combination. You're going to use Safeguard again, and I'm going to, uh, to keep chucking Pokeballs. I guess out of lack of better things to talk about, I will talk about the changes that I made since the last video. Wow! Okay, that took four minutes, give or take. Thank you for not utterly wasting my time the way some other birds did. Yes. Where's the K? Um. Okay. Makes my job easier. Oh god, I was prepared to be sitting there for, for another hour and a half uh, just chucking Pokeballs at Moltres, but I guess after uh, spending a total of what? Close to 300 between Mewtwo and, uh, and Lugia? 
the game said, you know, I think I've tortured you enough. You can you can have a you can have a break. Okay, so there's one more thing I want to do. Um, before I uh, go off to face the final battle of the game. After I go and heal and, and check out the Moltres' stats in the PC, because that's um, something I'm required to do by law after catching a legendary Pokemon. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Moltres. Level 50, Lax Nature, pressure for the ability. Um, these are your stats. Uh, Ancient Power, Flamethrower, Safeguard, and Air Slash are your moves. If I had to rank the legendary birds, I'd probably put Zapdos first, mostly because it doesn't have a four times weakness to anything. And, um, I kind of like my electricity, uh, which isn't to say I don't like my fire. As, as Moltres is. Uh, Articuno, uh, Ice. It's an okay attacking type, it's not a great defending type. Um, also design-wise, I really like, uh, Zapdos, but that's neither here nor there. Um, is there any reason for me to be in here? Those are your Pokeathlon stats. I did go and, uh, and clear out the Pokeathlon. Um, I did go and open, like, the final room in the Pokeathlon, off recording, and I was going to, like, make a video on what happens when you do that, except it kind of felt like cheating, because I kind of went and used all the legendary Pokemon slash event Arceus that I injected into my game to do that, and, um, instead of, instead of going through that whole ordeal, all I'll say is that, uh, you get a, an extra star on your trainer card. There's a couple stars on your trainer card that you can get, I don't think I've mentioned them, one is for entering the Hall of Fame, another is for completing the Pokedex, which I'm not going to do. The third is for beating the Battle Frontier, which I'm not going to do. Um, there's the uh, the Pokeathlon, which is a fourth. And uh, the last one is what I will be doing in this video. For the rest of this video, probably. Even though it shouldn't take too long. So I realize I'm going to need a Fly user in my party if I want to be able to do this in, in any reasonable amount of time. So when you talk to your Pokemon uh, in Pokemon Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver. They will occasionally find items for you. They will occasionally find, uh, uh, like, dress-up accessories for you. And they will occasionally just generally act cute. And one of the things that they can find, which is neither a, uh, an inventory item or a, uh, a dress-up accessory, is known as a shiny leaf. These are not common to find, and you can't find them on every single route in the game. The routes that you can find them on are dependent on your Pokémon's nature. Basically, in order to get one, you have to talk to your Pokemon over and over and over in a patch of grass on the relevant route. And um, if you collect five of them, something very interesting happens. Which I'll get into later. So on my team right now, I don't really have a Staff Ace or a Team Captain or anything. I'm not using my starter Pokemon. I'm not using a Dragonite, who is like, would be my thing if I was, if I was using a Dragonite, because my username. Um, nobody really stands out. Except, unfortunately, for the matter of Cassiopeia, who um, has a Psychic, Grass Nut, and basically that's it. Because, for whatever strange reason, I decided to give all my useful TMs to Gengar, uh, who is in the PC right now, in favor of Pidgey. Uh, Cassiopeia hasn't really been doing all that much damage to pretty much anyone for, like, half of the game right now. And uh, to make up for that for a little bit, I'm going to be giving her my Shiny Leaves. So you can move out into my leadoff slot. If I recall from the screen that popped up just two seconds ago, you have a relaxed nature. Um, and I went and looked this up beforehand. The routes that you can find a shiny leaf on with a Pokemon with a relaxed nature are 2, 4, 6, 28, 32, 35, and 48. And that works out nicely because route 28 is right here. So I'm just going to pop down into the tall grass. And I'm going to talk to Cassiopeia for a while. You're focusing with a sharp gaze, that's good, considering what I'm going to be doing in the next video. You're focused with a sharp gaze still. You feel refreshed, I'm glad to hear it. We did just uh, heal up at the Pokemon Center after all. You want to play, again. I'm sure you will be getting a, a fair amount of that in the next video. You're still focused. You're focused. I don't really want to just stand here. Um, and, and not cut the video for however long it takes, uh, for Cassiopeia to pop up a shiny leaf. You look very happy, I'm glad to hear it. Um, but at the same time, I do kind of want to give a, a general impression of how long this is going to take. Um, I don't want to hear it, Liz. Just staring at the grass. I'm fairly sure, um, from, from my reading on the internet, that you need to be standing in a patch of, uh, in a patch of tall grass or jumping for joy. That's neat. That you have to be standing in a patch of tall grass in order for this to work. Um, I'm not 100% on that, but because um, it, there's no downside to it, I'm not going to get into any random encounter just by uh, 
by standing here and not moving. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll sit in the grass anyway. I must say, they look very, uh... These two look quite hilarious, just with their heads sticking out of the grass like this. Anyway, I'm going to cut away to when I find something. Okay, I think that was it. Oh! Cassiopeia is holding some kind of strange, shiny leaf. Stupid found a shiny leaf. Not play the accessory music, but I don't believe it's actually an accessory. At least not according to the Cerebi page that I have pulled up on my other monitor over here. So we're gonna give that to Cassiopeia. And is there any visual indication of that on your profile? I don't think there is. Oh, there is. Okay, so you have one shiny leaf. Um... Which is uh, which has just appeared on the bottom. Um, it is not on the summary screen. I am noticing of the Pokemon who don't have any. So this is a a fairly hidden mechanic, which uh, unless you actually find one and discover it um, actively, you will probably not know exists unless you spend far too much time on the internet like I do. Okay, so now that that is under our belt, I'm going to uh, I'm going to fly somewhere, and I can't fly directly to Newbark Town. I have to go back to the Pokemon League, despite the fact that Newbark Town is closer to where I am right now than the Pokemon League because Mount Silver is considered Kanto. Alright, so we're back in New Bark Town, and I'm looking for Lyra, because now that I have found one of those things, uh, Lyra will have some things to say. Lyra's in this house, right? Lyra is upstairs indeed, okay. She's playing with her Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Lyra! And and your Meryl is, is doing something alright. Hi, stupid, how are you, Pokemon? Don't forget to talk to... What's that? Your Pokemon is holding a leaf. Could that be a shiny leaf? Legend has it, the only Pokemon that have found that have formed a close bond with people can find such leaves. People usually people used to turn le the leaves nah. People used to turn the leaves into a beautiful crown when they managed to collect five of them. Wow. I knew you could only I knew you could obtain one, stupid. Let me see if you find another. So if you find five shiny leaves, she will make a crown for you. And the crown is uh, is is another star on your trainer card. The one that I mentioned uh, not too long ago. I am going to go uh, to some route somewhere. I'm in Johto, so I guess I might as well uh, pick up leaves on the Johto routes. As I said, those would be uh, routes 32, 35, and 48. I'm going to have to go back to Kanto for one more because that only adds up to four. But this is route 32. No, this is route 32. South of Violet City. Okay. Let's go and find one. Um, the complete list of routes that you can find is on the internet somewhere. I say that, but... Um, Cerebi's list uh, appears to be incomplete. Um, some some natures of Pokemon have more routes listed where you can find shiny leaves than others. I I don't know if there are other more complete lists on the internet elsewhere. I don't know why I talked to the Apricorn because I'm done with that. Because like I said, I've pretty much finished off the Pokeathlon. I guess. Sure. Um, yeah, leaves. Um, regardless, there should be enough, uh, it looks like all the roots on Cerebi, all, all the natures on Cerebi have, uh, five roots or more listed where you can find the leaves, so, uh, if you want to do, th if you want to do this with any given Pokemon, you should be able to. There is in enough information out there, uh, regardless of whether or not it's complete. Did I really find one already? That was, like, the second or third try. Okay. That's not too bad. I was standing there for a little while on Route 28 trying to find one. Uh, random number generators, after all. Uh, where am I going next? Route 35. That's over here north of Goldenrod. Just the way I could be sitting there catching a legendary Pokemon with a catch rate of 3 for 6 Pokeballs or 150 Pokeballs. Uh, you, you might find a shiny leaf on your first try or on your, on your millionth try. Millionth is a little unlikely, I think. That's a legendary... That's a legendary puppy. I... okay. So for all the trouble that I had running into a legendary puppy, back, uh... Do I really want to use... I really don't want to use an attack move on you because I don't know what's gonna happen. For all the trouble I had running into a legendary puppy, so much so that I decided that I just wasn't going to do it because it wasn't fun. Um... I just... I, I ran... I ran into one by accident, randomly, up here. Yeah, Raikou can flee. I... I just want to be in the tall grass. Alright, so you're, uh... You're a bit nervous about the narrow space. It's not that narrow. 
It's it's four tiles tall. Looking around. Interested about the uh okay, so you're really you're really a bit claustrophobic. You have a relaxed nature. I don't know why you should be nervous. Um Letting out a roar. Which is very interesting coming from an Alakazam. It's not maybe a noise I would expect one to make. Um what was I talking about? I don't know if uh if your Pokemon have to be at a max at max happiness in order to find one of these. Um Lyra suggested such uh when I talked to her earlier. She said something about your the, the, this is only for Pokemon who have formed close bonds with their trainers. Um, I don't know if they have to be in the party for a certain amount of time, or if they do indeed have to be at max happiness, or anything like that. Um, I personally consider this an end game thing, and by this point in the end game, your Pokemon will generally have pretty high happiness. Um, if you want to do this earlier, I, I don't know if that's a thing that's possible, or if you're just going to have to wait. Anyway. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna talk to you and and let you find something. Uh, I said when I started doing this that your Pokemon can occasionally find other items and accessories, and it's interesting to note that I think um, I haven't actually found any items or accessories. I've only found shiny leaves so far on the two routes that I've done that, uh, which is interesting. I know I've found, um, I know I've been given like fancy scales and feathers and stuff before when I talk to my Pokemon. Um, and I, I would have to assume that shiny leaves are more rare. Because of the, uh, the nature of, of... Ha! Nature. Because of the nature of the, uh, the little hidden game mechanic and, well, the fact that it's a hidden game mechanic and not, like, one that's just right out there. Um. Alright, so I guess I'll cut away to when I find a fourth one. Third one. Third one? Third one. Is it a problem that you keep making a face like you're angry? Do you happen to, like, personally not like this area or something? I don't think you're at low health. You're not at low health. You don't have a major status. I wonder why that is. You were mentioning a confined space earlier. Um, do I, do I want to, um, throw on a repel for one, but two, go to a, a slightly more open area? Perhaps down here? This isn't really a confined space. What do you think about this? You're a little more interested. You're looking restlessly for something. And you're still feeling claustrophobic, and I can't say I understand why. Because we are in a much more open area than, than before. Okay. Do you need a nap? Is all this leaf hunting tiring you out or something? Okay, so I don't know for sure one way or another if it's uh, possible that you will not find a shiny leaf on uh, a route, one of the routes that your nature su suggests that you should be able to. 48 is over here, so I can go there. Um, maybe if I were to just re-enter the area, Cassiopeia would be a little bit happy, happier about it. Uh, maybe it had something to do with running into a Raikou. I don't know what, what other factors may be at play. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try and search some other area and possibly go back to Route 35 if I have to later. I don't know if there are other like stats that factor into where you can find things or anything like that. You found a, uh, a you didn't find anything. That's the green music note, but you didn't do the dance first. You need the dance and the green music note. You seem happier about this area in any uh, in any event. My bag has dirt on it. It happens when you play in the tall grass like that. Oh. Okay, that was that was a lot easier. Um, you do indeed seem to like Route 48 more than um, more than Route 35. Uh, that's three. I I need to go to Kanto. I'm gonna pop on back over to Kanto. Uh, route two, four, and six. Um, and I just need a, I just need two of those to uh, to actually um, allow me to find a leaf on them. All right, here we are on Route two. And I'm going to do the same thing over again. You you are giving me happy emotes. You're putting in extra effort. Okay. Uh, you're giving me happy emotes on this route, so that's a good sign. I hope this won't take too long. 
Um, I, I still don't really know why you didn't seem to like Route 35. Um, maybe there's, there's something else going on in your personality value that causes you to not really care for Route 35. Or something. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll do some Googling after this, after I finish recording this and, uh, see if I can find anything. Anyway, singing and humming. I would like to know what a singing Alakazam sounds like. To be fair. And honest. Mostly honest. I don't know why I said fair. Dance and happiness. Forgot the shiny leaves, but god do I love the following Pokemon mechanic in this game. And if I had to pick one that I wanted to come back in a future game, um, any, any mechanic that only appeared in one game or was removed or anything like that, uh, forget the Battle Frontier, forget the, even the Pokeathlon, I would, I would choose following Pokemon. Um, and I, I have been meaning to talk to my Pokemon more often than I have been. I've been better about it in this playthrough than I was, um, than I have been in the past. Um, both my original Let's Play of this game and just off recording stuff that I've, off recording times where I've played this game. Um, and I still wish I would, would have done it more. It's, uh, it's really charming. Johto, the Heart Gold and Soul Silver in general, these are... For all the complaining that I've done about them in the last 80 odd videos, uh, they're still my favorite Pokemon games and for good reason. Um, the whole environment and the whole, uh, really feel to the game in general, that's really vague, but that's, that's about how I feel about it. Um, that's about how much I like this game and, and how much I can describe how much I like this game. Um, it just, uh, it gives me a good feeling when I play it. It's, it may be slow, the difficulty curve may be all over the place. Um, what else drives me crazy about it? It's mostly that. Uh, the HMs are just a tiny bit overbearing, I guess, because there's eight of them. It's a bit much. Um, but when you can, when you can just watch your Pokemon stand on, stand on the root, in the tall grass, right next to you, and, uh, and dance around in happiness, and occasionally find gold leaves, or shiny leaves, or whatever they're called. If they were called gold leaves in this game, would they be silver leaves in the other game? I don't know, but that really does it for me. As far as I know, this isn't a thing in the game, but I wonder what would happen if, uh, if there were certain points in the story where you, where you had to talk to your Pokémon in order to, to do things. Um, an example that would come to mind would be, uh, for example, in the Ilex Forest when you're, like, guiding the Kimono Girl out, or when your Pokémon is, rather. If you had to, like, talk to your Pokémon and kind of converse with them a little in order to figure out how to get the Kimono Girl out or something like that. That's, that's probably not the best example. That's probably not the best use for such a mechanic that you could come up with, having to talk to your Pokemon, and again, it's not a thing that you have to do at any point in this game. Uh, but I do wonder if, uh, if you could kind of encourage talking to your Pokemon even more by, uh, by making it an actual mechanic, aside from gold leaves and occasionally finding items, which I'm still not sure why I haven't done so far. Because I've, I know I found them in the past, and I, I'm not doing it now. Is it just this patch or is it just this patch of grass? Do I have to maybe find another patch of grass? Maybe this one up here? Do you like this grass better than the grass down below? What are you doing? You're showing off your agility. You are agility. Uh, you are indeed a very fast Pokemon. I wonder exactly how many interactions there are in this game uh, that you can have with your Pokemon because I've seen quite a lot. Um, there are different ones on different routes in different locations, and caves will find different interactions than on Route 35, than on Route 2, clearly. Um... I wonder if there's a full list of them anywhere, or anything like that. Okay, so I wasn't having any more luck on Route 2, uh, in any patch of grass, so, uh, what if I just tried Route 4? Maybe if I have to, I'll return to Route 2 later. Moving happily. You seem happy on this route as well. You're staring at the grass. And you're hopping up and down. In a carefree way. If you had a if you had a Diglett following you, would they still be allowed to say that? Oh, okay. Cassipia is holding a shiny leaf. 
So it seems that if I don't find it, um, like within within a couple minutes, then it can't be found on that route. That's four, right? Or is that three? Um, you have four. Okay, I need one more. Um, the, uh, the, the leaves that I found have been found fairly quickly. Where's route six? That's route five. That's route nine. That's route 25, which is uh, decidedly not six. Eight. Seven. Six. Okay, I need to go north of Vermilion. Um, if I don't, if I don't find a leaf in a reasonable amount of time, it's probably safe to assume that I should just look somewhere else. I don't know if returning to the route later will help. I don't know if, uh, again, certain Pokemon are, um, have, an, have a, like, disposition in one way or another towards a, uh, particular route. But we'll see. Ah. If, if you had a Pokemon following you who didn't have arms, uh, what's a Pokemon who doesn't have arms? I know there are Pokemon who don't have arms, like, I wanted to say Kling, Kling Clang, but those are, those are not a thing in this game. Uh, what's a Gen 4 earlier Pokemon who doesn't have arms? I guess, like, uh, does, does Probopass have arms? I think Probopass has arms. I need a list of Pokemon who have arms. Can I go on Bulbapedia and find a list of Pokemon who have arms? For that matter, I, I, I mentioned Diglett earlier. Uh, Diglett doesn't have arms, right? Dugtrio doesn't have arms. Could, could you get hugged by a Diglett or Dugtrio or a Shuckle or something? Would a Shuckle be allowed to, to show the, uh... The message that said showing off your agility that I saw in the last route. So many questions that need answers. Such as where the shiny leaves are. So I am now on Bulbapedia and apparently it is slightly more complicated than Cerebi was making it out to be. Uh, so thank you Cerebi for containing incomplete information. I wonder if I can like write to them and ask them about that if their page needs to be updated or something. But, uh, you see the, uh, the positions of the leaves on the top screen? Those are not random, they're not, like, in the order that I find them or anything. Um, there are certain routes that f would fill in different slots on the, uh, in the, in the shiny leaf screen. And from the looks of it, certain slots can be filled by more than one routes. For example, uh, route 2 and 28 map to the same slot. And since I have already found the leaf on route 28, I will, uh, I will not be finding a leaf on route 2, which is interesting. However... Um, that doesn't explain why... Okay, I wasn't sure if I'd closed the menu or gone further into it. That doesn't explain why I was not finding a leaf on Route 35, because that also, uh... Route 48 corresponds to the same slot as Route 35, and I... The time when I was searching on Route 35, I had not been to Route 48 yet. Um... I still don't know if there's more to the story. I am... I am not seeing anything. I'm not seeing any more information on it over here, so I guess I'll just keep looking. There we go. Okay. You did your dance. That took a little while. Uh, once again, random number generations and probab probabilities and stuff. Okay. So I now have uh, I now have five shiny leaves on Cassiopeia. And uh, now that I have that, I can return to Lyra in Newbark Town. And she will comment on the fact that I have five shiny leaves. How's the Pokemon you're walking with? You can talk to it as you walk from time to time to nurture your friendship. Ha! Huh. You have already collected five shiny leaves. Yeah, that only took, I want to say, about 20 minutes. Uh, let me turn them into a crown. And what's more, I will give you this, too. Which is a nice little certificate. Stupid and Cassiopeia fighting together, walking together, forging a bond that cannot be broken and will go on continually into eternity. The bond is illuminated here. Nice. So the uh, the crown icon is uh, was on the top of that certificate. If I check the PC, will it be in there? Um, I should also be able to see the crown on the status screen, should I not? Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, Cassiopeia, just because you don't have, a as, as great type coverage as some other members of my team doesn't- What? 
I shouldn't mess with someone else's PC. So whose PC do you mess with? Anyway, uh, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. I was saying something about Shiny Leaves, uh, and, uh, and the fact that Cassiopeia, uh, I, I enjoy having her on my team just as much as anybody else. So, with that finished, I should have another star on my trainer card. And that is indeed three, and it has turned purple instead of green. Um, let's see, I'm going to end this off, and in the next part, it is final final boss time. That is not my fly menu. I hope you all enjoyed this. Join me tomorrow when I do that. I can fly to uh, I can fly to Mount Silver from here, despite not being able to fly to here from Mount Silver. Is that like an error in the game or an oversight at least? I don't know. I will see you all later. Oh, now I can fly to Nubar Town. I guess Mount Silver is considered Jodo and Route 28 is considered Kanto or something. That makes sense.